everybody, welcome back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I'm Tiffany, I'm so glad you have found me and today. My channel is all about comes mysteries and romance books and today I'm here with my Malice All Haul. Everything from Malice, I'm showing you today. Oh my gosh, I got so much great stuff. Books and swag and that is what we're here for today. So, let's just get started. In three, two, one, go! As always, please remember to hit the like, notification, subscription. The <clears throat> notification tells you when we put out new videos so you don't miss any of your favorite content creators' content. I can never say that correctly. <laughs> so you don't miss any content. Um, the like button really helps us in the algorithm. Thank you for that. And the subscription keeps the channel growing. I can't thank you enough because I am having the time of my life and um, you guys have given me the, the community. And I, I, I just can't put into words how thankful I am. So much fun. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, support is free. It costs absolutely nothing to hit any of those buttons on any channels, but it really, really, really helps us out. And we um, are very appreciative and grateful for that. Okay, so let's just get started. I'm gonna start with the books, all right? Um, and then we'll just kind of go from there. And so the first book I got was The Frame Up. This was in my swag bag. So this is by Gwenda Bond. It says, a magically gifted con artist must gather her estranged mother's old crew for a once in a lifetime heist. I, I am excited about this. I love like heist movies and stuff like that. So I am actually very, very excited by this. And the cover is just adorable. Oh, very, very excited. Okay, so I'm starting with my two favorite people and probably two of my favorite books of this year. I got Resort to Murder. This was gifted to me from, from Annie McEwen and um, it's signed and I'm just, oh my gosh. I, I just, I know I do it every time, but check out that cover. Is it not just the most adorable? I've seen the cover for book two. You guys are not gonna be disappointed. This um, series features Emmy Cooper and she um, has some stuff happen in her life and she's going back home to visit her family in um, the Northwoods of Wisconsin. And um, they live on Lake Covington. And um, this big developer comes along and he is looking to kind of buy multiple resorts, small resorts, um, small inns, stuff like that, that are on Lake Covington and turn it into this huge resort area. And um, one of the people that he wants to buy their property of is uh, Emma's family, or Emmy, sorry, Emmy's family. And they are not interested, but some people don't like to take no for an answer, especially when they are uh, think that they're, you know, big in their britches. And so um, the worst guy from the developing team ends up dead. Oh, and it's on the Cooper's property. So, um, Emmy wants to figure out what's going on. One of the reasons that I love this book so much, and I think it'll probably be all my favorites of this year, is because, um, I mean, all the things I just said, I love Wisconsin as a cozy. I love this vibe. This, it feels very, very cozy to me. And this is how I want to experience that type of coziness is in a book so I appreciate that so much but also because her friends so Emmy's friends from high school she's been gone she comes back and um they just jump into um their friendship like no days have passed I'm just saying like in like maybe maturity which I love because I feel like that is so relatable like I could go home and my high school friends and have that same kind of vibe. And um, she's like, hey, do you want to help me? They're like, oh, we're there. And she's like, you don't even know what I want. And it's a big one because I want you to help me with murder or like investigate a murder. They're like, you don't need to tell us. We'll see you at five. And I love that about them. I love that about this book. I cannot wait for number two. And it is coming very soon. There will be a number two and number three this year, y'all. Oh, the other one is of course an escape goat by Jana Rawlings. Oh my gosh, there's Bugsy right on the cover. Okay, so this features Callie and Callie wants to move to a tropical place. Like I think she's always, I think it's Puerto Rico that she mentions. I can't remember. But for right now, she is in New Hampshire at her great aunt and uncle's farm and she starts a goat yoga retreat. 
in the first retreat is a group of mean girls and one of them is a social influencer and she's kind of oh she's really nasty although not the worst in the bunch her best friend and i keep putting those things in quotes because um they don't act like best friends <laughs> she is probably the worst in the bunch well they're um they're i think it's like the very first day i'm not sure if it's the first day but um, they're having some wine at night and the social influencer is found dead. And um, that does not bode well for Callie in her new yoga retreat. It is fantastic. Her cousin, is her cousin's name Tristan? I think his name is Tristan. Um, he comes um, because she's also going to have like facials and massages and stuff like that um, during the retreats. And the people that were supposed to come and do those backed out at the last minute. So she calls her cousin and she's like, hey, can you come help me out? And at first he's like, no. And then when he, she mentions the uh, social influencer, he's like, oh, okay, I'm there. And he brings um, another guy that um, can do, I don't remember if he does the massage and the facial. I don't remember who does what. But um, he's also the love interest of Tristan. And I was so rooting for them uh, for a while. And oh my gosh, another one that was probably be on my favorites. I absolutely love this. This is going to be a giveaway from the channel. She gave it to me. Um, I ha already had it. So she's like, I'll sign it. It's signed um, just in general so that I can do a giveaway. So I will talk about that more later but a scapegoat by Jana Rollins, who is Paula Charles. Go get those two books. Fantastic. Next up, okay, Rhythm and Clues. This is the third book in the Record Shop series by Olivia Black. I love these covers. I love the colors. I love the cover. Okay, so um, I have not read this one, and this will go on um, a shelf, but I'll probably still read it on ebook. But I had to buy it because um, Olivia approached me and she said, Hey, did you see my acknowledgments? And I was like, No, but okay, I'm not trying to be me. Um, I don't normally read acknowledgments in bookshelves. It's not. And I just skip to the book part. I don't even think about it. It's not like a, oh, I don't want to read it. I, it just doesn't even cross my mind. I just flip open to chapter one and I'm off. So um, she said, hold on, I want to show you something. And she goes and grabs the book from the bookstore. And... Da, da, da. Give me a second. And she's like, oh, well, your name, I don't know if you can see it, Tiffany Gordon Craig is in the acknowledgments for a uh, coffee. I um, had submitted a name and it was one of them that was used. And so I was like, oh, if I buy it, will you sign right next to that? Because th that was such a wonderful surprise. I can't thank you enough, Olivia. I loved that. I was not expecting it. It was just a wonderful, wonderful surprise. So let me tell you about this series real quick. It features three sisters and um, it takes place in Texas and they open Sip and Spin sip and spin records and so there's a coffee shop and a record store Her, their family the three sisters family owned a record store that record store actually in the heyday of records and they're trying to revitalize that and it is so much fun the coffee shop has um puns that are like music and coffee themed kind of matched together which is uh what the acknowledgements for and oh check out this series it is fantastic Next book is Poison Ivy. This is by Misty Simon, who you will see in the vlog. You might have already seen it. Um, this is an Ivy Morris mystery. So it says Ivy Morris may be an adult, but she has never lived outside her father's home and in fact sleeps in the same room her mother decorated over a decade ago until she gets a letter with the words, your inheritance offering her a home and a costume shop of her own 3,000 miles away. So excited to check this out. I love Misty. She is a hoot and you have got to see all the dresses that she wears. Next year, that's one of the things I should do in my vlog is each day take a picture of Misty's dresses because you just, they are so fantastic. I can't wait to check this out. Thank you so much for that. 
Oh, so excited. The um, other book is um, a Malice Domestic catalog. So this is like, it's so fantastic. So it has all of the uh, um, people who were recognized this year. So Elaine Veets got the Lifetime Achievement Award. These were already set up. So each year they pick one of these. So like next year, the Lifetime Achievement person will be Donna Andrews. And um, so the guest of honor this year was uh, Sujana Massey. She is hilarious. I really, really enjoyed her. Um, the Toastmaster, Lori Raider Day, Absolutely fantastic. She was great. I really, really enjoyed her as well. Um, Christopher got the um, Amelia um, Award. And Christopher has a blog called Bolo, which is be on the lookout. And go check it out. Go look at it. It is fantastic. He also won Best Short Story with Drew Ann Love, who is um, from Drew's Book Musings. If you don't know Drew, go check her out. Go subscribe to that blog. She does all sorts of things, including she does interviews with the authors, but from the character's perspective. So it's like first person interviews with the main characters of our favorite books. What a fantastic idea. I am is one of my favorite things. I absolutely love it. Um, guest fan of honor. And then they always do a Malice Remembers, which this year it was Tony Hillerman. Inside is just all sorts of information. There is information about the um, awards, who's up for nomination. There is um, stuff about the auction. Um, there is articles or stuff about the Lifetime Achievement Award. This is Elaine Feetz. There's an article about her. Um, there is, um, stuff for next year already. Um, let's see. There's a big article about Christopher who again won the Amelia and the best short story, um, with Drew Ann. And, um, again, from Bolo Books, or I think if you just put in Bolo and Books, it'll pull it up. Uh, just all sorts of stuff. And then it lists each um, author that's uh, signed up and a little bit about them and their biography. It is just a really fantastic um, keepsake and I absolutely love it. All right. So now let's move on to some of the amazing swag. Okay. So I'm starting first with Paula Charles and Annie McEwen. Um, so they, I think I showed you some of um, the swag from both of those at there. So I thought this was really cute because it's from an escape goat. Shh, I'm reading. And on the back it has the cover and all that. And then bookmarks, um, Hammers on Homicide by Parl Charles. Absolutely fantastic. So this features Donna and she um, owns a hardware store. Her, um, in the series is called Hometown Hardware. And her spouse has passed away and she's still running it. And they, she has a bathroom that the main character shares with the business next door to them and um, a man who, so they're trying, the town is trying to revitalize this old like movie theater. And, but this developer wants to come in and do something completely different with it. And he's not very well liked and he ends up dead. And that is the mystery in that one. It is so good. It had the lightest sprinkling of paranormal and I loved it so much. I can't recommend Hammers and Homicide enough too. Um, you have to go check it out. And is this not the cutest? Isn't that adorable? I thought it was adorable. I thought it was adorable. All right, let's see. I wanted to show you. Da -da -da. Oh. I should have opened it before, but I did not. So in Annie, I think I showed you some of her swag too, but this is the Cooper's Cove Resort. Look how fun that looks. Isn't that amazing? I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. Of course, the cover again. I'll just give you a minute, take it all in. But how cute is this? It's a little, it's a pen, but it's like the cutest little, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. It is so fantastic. What a... These two, very creative. I love it so much. I appreciate good swag and when people are creative. And those, I get, both of those are so creative. That is so fun. So this is the bag that you get initially. And it is full of a ton of the swag. And that's where the Malice uh, magazine that I showed you and the books that I, um, 
that came. This is a little writing Yeti from Misty Simon. Is that not the cutest? Oh my gosh, and it's soft. That is adorable. She had different colors. She said she also have ones that hold um, samurai swords. Um, she did not bring those just in case we wanted to get back on the plane with them, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. Oh my gosh, it is just adorable. Oh, so cute. She had a name for it. It was very cute. I don't remember what it was, unfortunately. Um, so a lot of people did um, recipe cards, which I thought was fantastic. So it'll have their book on the front and then a great recipe on the back. So this is Lucy Burdett, um, which is the Key West series. And look at that cover. That is fantastic. And this is for Haley Snow's Key West Mojitos. And then um, Valerie Burns from the Baker Street Mysteries. I loved the first one. This is another one with a very large dog, like 200 pound dog or something like that. I can't wait to get to more of these. I might side this into one of the sass positions because I have a couple open. So um, that is the cover. And then on the back, old fashioned pound cake. Isn't that a neat idea? So um, Cleo Coil. Individual cherry or berry cl clafatis, sweet cherries, egg yolk, milk, heavy cream, confectioner. Fun. I approve of all of this. Um, Eva Gates and uh, ooh afternoon tea scones. Nice. The five ingredients: tiramisu parfait. Oh, that sounds good. Oh my gosh. This is one I'm really excited about. Molly McRae has a new series starting. It is the Haunted Shell Shop. I cannot wait for it. And I love that cover. And this is Mustard Roasted Potatoes. Oh my gosh, this might be one that I definitely try. A Case of the Blues. A Cheese Shop Mystery by Karina Moss. Oh, Gorgonzola Garlic Bread. That is the recipe. Gorgonzola Garlic Bread. Oh my gosh, y'all. One of my favorite series, one of my favorite books, one of my favorite authors. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Ooh. Um, a Deadly Dedication. This is by Margaret Lamb and Mushy Peas. Interesting. Ooh, Leslie Budowitz. To Air is Cumin. I love that title. Uh, Kristen's Four Ingredient Asparagus Tart. Libby Klein. Cherry coconut balls. I won't be eating those. I'm allergic to coconut, not for any other reason. Okay. And Leslie Karst has a new series starting. Um, it's an Orchard Isle mystery, and it, it takes place in Hawaii. And first book is called Molten Death. And this is, ooh, soybeans and with chili sauce. I do love um, edamame, so that's awesome. Lots of people had bookmarks, Leslie Karst, for her Sally Solori. And there's the cover. And then in the back, there's a recipe on that one. Grilled peaches with balsamic plum sauce. Sounds absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, here's Maya Corrigan's bookmark with all of her books. Isn't that neat? This next one, um, I had not heard about it. I'm definitely going to be checking it out. It's a camp, a, like some sort of camping series. Um, this is by KB Jackson. I'm not sure of the actual name of the series or the exact premise, but there's stickers that say like Happy Camper. And there's a balloon in here. And there's a sailboat. Um, so I know it's outdoorsy. It says it's the Shatterton Mysteries. It might be middle grade or she has a middle grade series. Hmm. I'm going to have to look this up and check this out. Leslie Budowitz made this great, fantastic bookmark. It has her new book, but then it also has, um, oh, sorry, the rest of the spice shop. And then on the back, it has the Food Lovers Village, which is my favorite series by her. I wish and hope that she puts more out in this series. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. You never know. <laughs> So Molly McRae, I mentioned her shell series. Her little bookmark has a little shell on it. Um, this is the cover of the first book that's coming out. It says it's coming out 6 24 Mark your calendars. I can't wait for it. And then on the back, she has her other series and their um, covers. I love the Haunted Yarn Shop series. I'm going to have to uh, check this other one out. I didn't know that she even wrote under another pen name. Sometimes I just can't even keep up. Holy moly. Fantastic. So this one is really interesting. This is Eleanor Coons. I'd never heard of um, uh, this series before. It is about a woman who is a bull leaper 
And so it says, in a world of goddess worship, sacred snakes and sacrifice, human jealousy, resentment, and betrayal still inspire murder. Martis, a young bull leaper, investigates. First up, her sister who dies on her wedding day. And those are the covers. I don't know if um, uh, if this is like a true cozy, and I don't know if um, it's more of a like a in depth mystery uh, because some of this stuff sounds scary to me. <laughs> Here is just more bookmarks with people showing their books. Oh my gosh, Sarah E. Burr, who um, I got to know more at this mouse, absolutely fantastic. She was so sweet and wow, talk about knowledgeable of publishing and she was so interesting. I really, really, really enjoyed her. She had a bookmark for her. Um, I think this one is the blogger series, the trending topic mysteries, which might slide into, even though it's a new series, I'll either have to start it and then just slide into my SAS list or we'll go from there. But I really want to check out that series by her. And then in the back, it uh, talks about her other series. And go check out Sarah E. Burr. Um, she was fantastic. So this one, this series, um, each one has a little, some little dogs on the cover. So I can't wait to check this out. I do not know the name of the first book in this series. It is by Catherine Black. So if you look up Catherine Black, I'm sure you'll find it. But I am so interested in checking it out because um, they are so toot. Oh my gosh. Another one that's an animal. I have to show the animal ones because let's face it, we all love animals and are cozy. It is a Cozy Pet Lovers series. And this is by M.K. Dean, and it says, it's Diagnosis Murder, which I really enjoyed, meets all creatures great and small, which I do not know. When house call veterinarian Jenny Reese and her trusty German shepherd find a corpse in, Je in Jenny's inherited condo. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to check out the Cozy Pet Lovers Mysteries. So I'm really interested in checking this out. It is by Kathy Stoller. It is... Um, I don't know the name of the series, but the this book is called With a Twist. It says, meet Jude, the owner of the Corner Lounge, as she stirs up drinks and a dash of murder. It's by Kathy Stoller. Can't wait to look it up and see what the first book is and check that one out. That just sounds fun. It's unique. I'm going to go for it. For all you HGTV lovers... It is, this um, is a house staging cozy mystery series. This is by Grace Topping, who I'm hoping to have on the channel in the next couple months. So I can't wait to check out this series. I've heard great things about it. Um, I'm not sure what the first one is. It might be staging is murder. Here are the covers. Again, gonna have her on very soon. She is so sweet and I can't wait to check this out. So this next one I am so excited about. It just sounds really fun. It is... Curtains for the Condo Casanova, it says the unscripted detective. When you look it up on Goodreads, I'm not sure if it's a series. Um, it doesn't list it as a series. This is by Barbara Barrett, and it says, dumped from the lead role of her detective show, snubbed by Hollywood, hurting for cash, TV star Marla Dane sees only one way, running home to Minnesota. There she can lick her wounds and eat ice cream. She'll never again have to think about catching killers. But that's before a resident in her sister's condo building is found dead on the front lawn. There's something about Marla that makes the neighbors and overworked cops think she can help solve the case. No matter how many times she tells them she was a pretend sleuth who never worked off script. Trusting that Marla can get an insider's take on the suspects, the police chief pairs up her up with Rex Alcorn, an ex-cop who lives in the same condo complex. I cannot wait. Just sounds really fun. Definitely gonna have to check it out. I showed you these books before with The Little Dog by Catherine Black that I wanted to show you. And it's a little magnet in that adorable, what a great swag idea. I love it. I also thought this was great. This is chocolate and it's somebody's book cover. Is that or not adorable? Although I'll never open it and eat it because um, I just think it's too cute. The Record Shop series, Olivia Black. She also has her, um, I'm not sure the name of the other series, but Killer Content, uh, which I did read. What was the name of that? I can't think of it. I am so excited to get to number three in her Record Shop. Um, I thought that was a really cute bookmark. Drew from Drew's Book Musings. I mentioned her earlier. She won Best Short Story with Christopher. Oh my gosh, you have to. I'm holding it upside down. 
or am I holding it backwards to you? One of these ways. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go check her out. Sign up for her emails. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. She does the most awesome interviews. It does some other amazing stuff too. I just can't get over the interviewing of the characters. I think that is absolutely brilliant. I love it, love it, love it so much. I showed you this there, but I want to show you again. It is um, Jackie Layton's swag. So she has a new series out that's the Texas Farmer series. And she gave seeds and, of course, candy. And then a bookmark with her with... Um, her information about her um, Low Country Dog Walker series, which is definitely going on my SAS last, next year for sure. And this is book one, Weeding Out Lies in the Texas Farmer series. Book two is coming out soon. I can't wait to read it when it comes out. I really, really enjoyed book one. I love farming cozies and a flower farm was so good. It was so good. Mm. Another one that I really want to try, I don't know if this is part of a cozy series. I don't even know if this is a cozy book or if it's just a mystery but um hello it's a circus this is by rob osler and it was hilarious i don't remember what it was about i say it's hilarious and then i don't remember what it was about but the thing is is that i went to the malice go round and the malice go round is you sit at a table and like 60 authors come through and they have two minutes to pitch their idea and give you their swag which is where a lot of this comes from and it's so hard to, re to, to remember, you know, but I remember this sticking out and this being hilarious and me wanting to check it out. This is another one I don't remember much about, but I wanted to make sure I checked it out. It is a historical. It says the Miss, um, I think it's Hermione Mystery, and it's got like a horse and buggy on the cover. Obviously, again, historical. This is by Anastasia Havings. Um, who is Kylie Logan? Who is also Mimi Granger and I really enjoy all of her series Kylie Logan and Mimi Granger um so I am definitely checking this one out I can't wait to um get to it this one was really cute because it has some middle grade or some even younger kids um mystery books which is always fun there is a category at Agatha for children's mysteries so that is really neat another one I got at the Malice Go Around it was one that I Put in my head, check this one out, but I do not remember what it is. I think it's historical. I'm pretty sure it's historical. It's called A Deadly Endeavor. Uh, what does the back say? Oh, 1921. It says, A killer stalks the city of brotherly love. Stop a murderer or die trying. Mm. Um, I remember that when she presented it, it sounded like a great premise, a really fun series. Oh my gosh, it's a Bugsy sticker. I didn't even know I had this. Oh, I'm so excited. It's Bugsy from a Zen Goat series from Jana Rollins from Paula Charles. I didn't even know that this was in here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm going to put uh, Bugsy on my Kindle. That's where Bugsy's going. I'm going to put it aside so that I can put it on my Kindle. I also am going to put the um, Lake Covington sticker on my Kindle. So I hope you enjoyed all the swag. There's so much they give you. There's so much... I actually um, gave some of my books to someone else who um, I knew would put them to good use because I did not want to um, try to bring them back on the plane. There were so many that you're given in your swag bag. I kept the ones that I um, knew that I would read and really interest me. And then I gave the other ones that I knew other people would really love and read to them because, again, I didn't want to pay for shipping this year. I paid for shipping last year. Um, and... Um, I didn't want to get charged extra for the weight in my bag because I knew I was already bringing back a bunch of stuff that I didn't have with me when we went. So I was pushing the line. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy the vlog of Malice. I will try to do even better next year because although um, I did show you several things, I still left out a bunch. I was enjoying the moment. There's nothing more I can say. I had a blast. I hope you enjoyed all the swag. You got some new uh authors I got some new authors every time I go it's absolutely amazing give me a big thumbs up for this video and until next time may all your future reads be five stars bye everybody